What is up guys, we are starting off this episode kind of different, um, I actually ended up going backwards, uh, well not backwards, more so back towards the town, and I did the daily battle, and got the level up on Karkul to 34, and we're gonna start off with his evolution, just cause I wanted to show you guys his evolution. Oh wow. Colossal. <laughs> nice play on words. It kind of looks like a coal version of like Ray Furrier. It usually peaceful, but the vandalism of mines and rages of defenders will be incinerated with flames that reach 200, oh, no, 2700 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, he's mad, mad, basically. <laughs> Tar shot. Or pour sticky tar over the target, lowering the target speed stat. The target also becomes weaker to fire. Wow, that's actually kind of convenient. So if you had like a type advantage or something, or you just want it to be super effective, that was the battle as elegant as the Rosary T. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So one thing you guys are going to notice is that I did also uh, switch out Dreadnought for a Magikarp. <laughs> but I'm not I'm not really sure that I'm going to have Magikarp on the team permanently. Well, Gyarados more so because I'm thinking about getting that Feebas. So um, once we learn how to ride the bike over water, um, I'll be going back to Route 2. In Route 2, I think you can, I think either you fish or you can just try your luck in seeing a Feebas there, and that's how you can catch one. And then I'm pretty sure it's like the same as the previous games where you had to trade the Prism Scale, uh, Prism Scale that the Feebas was holding in order to make it evolve, like, through trade. So I just also have to get one of those. And yeah. But I wanted to head on to Stow on side, but I also wanted to catch some more Pokemon and whatnot. Um, I have Toxtricity out first, simply because I feel like now is his time to somewhat shine, even though he doesn't have strong, strong electric or poison moves, but he just learned Toxic. Oh yeah, yeah Mask um, has a, another evolution in this game. Will you spark? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yes, right. You're ground now, too. I totally forgot. I think he's ghost ground. Maybe he was always ground, and I just never really paid attention to his typing like that. Oh, you would use mean look. That's fine, I, I put poison on you, bro. And I think I have enough super potions to keep my guy alive. Look how he just, like, doesn't care. sense to you, I guess. Okay, yeah, this... This, yeah, mask is, uh... A little slow. And we got it. There goes my Magikarp getting all those levels. I probably should have read it because it's the Galarian form, but at the same time, I 
didn't really want to. Oh, what's up here? Oh, it's a fishing spot. Is there anything good here? Uh, no, not, nothing good, just a drop now. I'd probably just have to like look into seeing what exactly I could fish from this spot. This is where I put. Ooh, that actually did some damage. But this pipe's gonna hurt. Might I use protect, bro? I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna get you regardless. <laughs> I don't even know what level Corvus Squire is gonna evolve. But I'm hoping it's pretty soon just cause uh I'm looking forward to having a Corva Knight on my team. I don't know, maybe it's just me that's all hyped for it. <laughs> I'll have to get there another way. But I see uh there's like a TM there or something. Nope, don't touch me. I don't even know what that was. No. <laughs> this is like one of my least favorite Pokemon out here. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to run. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know, Toctricity looks pretty cool in his depressed form. <laughs> okay, trainers regardless, so let's get this double battle out the way. Medical team. On your then. Okay. Okay. Which this is actually a bad matchup. <laughs> well, more so for Hatina. Hatena. Yeah, we'll put we'll put Colossus in so we can also see like his uh, battle animation. Yourself, buddy. You both played yourself. <laughs> At least that's how it's feeling right now. Tick just very fine. Oh, you know ancient power? Surprised he didn't use that earlier. Oh, but then again, he wasn't. Colossus wasn't out there. I thought he was level 35. But okay, the wacky's evolving. I don't know, maybe I did, just didn't read right and I thought I was level 35. Or no, I thought I was level 34, so. We got our beast. 
Arby's Rillaboom. Oh, wow, he looks too hyped. They got him moving like he's fast, but he's the slowest out of the three. <laughs> By drumming, it taps into the power of its special tree stump. The roots of the stump follow its direction in battle. Oh, wow, and it's 611. Like, bro, drum beating? It's better be grass. <laughs> The user plays its drum, controlling the drum's root to attack the target. It also lowers the target's speed. Huh. That's pretty freaking convenient. Uh, I think I'll... I want to get rid of Magical Leaf. Because I think I might need Branch Poke whenever I want to try to, like, capture a Pokemon. <laughs> That's what I did to catch a... Um, a Roselia. But, I'm not gonna lie guys, now I wanna see <laughs> Rillaboom <laughs> in action. Which, I'm hoping is gonna be pretty clutch for us. I think it'll look nice. Backpacker, okay. Oh, you sent out saw. Okay, really boom. <laughs> Loki came out like a beast. Now let's check out this drum beating. Hey, yo, that, yo, that looks nice. Oh yeah, that's damage based off my weight. Oh, you mean you got a crit on that man? Well, it's all good. I lowered your speed too, I think. <laughs> I like how he has like more defined drumsticks now. I think she like spoke in a different language just now. Okay, yeah, he, he was 35. Wow, they, they made the starters evolve at level 35, or maybe it's just the grass starter? I'm just gonna try to get on that other side, though, just for... Just so we can see what's... Oh, wow, there's more trainers to fight. Okay, just take the ladder, buddy. Shake the tree to get these berries, man. Oh, she asked about the curry. I totally forgot about the curry dough. And you have throw. Of course you have throw. This is gonna be a pain. I could have Corviknight go or Corvusquire go out there. Cause I think Corvusquire is gonna evolve too since it seems like I'm getting everybody to their final form now. Storm. Okay, now everybody's getting crits on Rillaboom. I don't I don't give us up with that. Okay, there yeah, we got our crit. <laughs> oh man, I did not mean to jump. Oh, did I? Oh, we got still wind. Oh, we can teach that to, um... Corvus Squire. So when we have like the rock matchups. I don't think there was anything else really for us to do with that. So we're gonna go back up. Yes, put some pep in your step, buddy. We're gonna just get these battles in. Mm -hmm. 
model. And you have a scorpion. <laughs> okay, I mean, I won't judge it. But what was good against Poison Dark? Oh well, we'll just slam. Uh -huh. Oh, or we'll miss with slam. We're gonna just try again and again. <laughs> Or, or not, or not. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get rid of slam. I kept slam because I felt like it was gonna come in clutch for us later on, but it's clearly not. <laughs> One thing too, I picked up a TM for Bulldoze, so I'm trying to decide who I want to teach Bulldoze to because we need ground type moves. Mmm, feel the burn. Oh, this is like the perfect time to use Tar Shot. Oh. Oh, dang, that's right. I totally forgot. You're actually bug? Oh, no, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're keeping you out because we got that speed boost, so. We should be able to take you out too. This is actually OP as heck that they gave this Pokemon a move to speed up himself when he's already slow. As you guys are wondering why I haven't used like the XP candy on Magikarp yet, it's because I was gonna wait till it was Gyarados and then I was gonna boost the boost the crap out of it to get it close to our team if I can. I got Rillaboom out front too with the amulet coin to give me some extra money. Artist Duncan. Okay, he looks like he's lost. He's lost his mind. What, is, what does that mean, neutralizing gas? I don't, I don't know what that meant. <laughs> now I need to catch a coughing just to read what that <laughs> ability is. Yeah, we can power through with Rillaboom. Pseudo Wudo. Oh no, Pseudo Wudo's rock. <laughs> We're keeping this part going. You know, they should have had. Yeah, I was about to say, Sturdy must be its ability. <laughs> they should have had um, more sound effects to go with with Rillaboom's uh, drum beating move. So I feel like when those when those vines hit, you should like hear it like whipping the Pokemon or something. Maybe I'm just thinking too much about it. Yeah, I think I'm thinking too much about it. <laughs> Was this a way to get there? Oh yeah, it was. Okay. Oh no, that was the exact way. I need to go that other way because I thought I saw like a camp and like other trainers. Let's talk to you real quick. 
I feel like I just wasted a super potion. <laughs> so I thought I was gonna have to battle more. Look at Magikarp looking all derpy. <laughs> Anything to trade? Two fossilized birds. The professor on Route 6 will store fossils for you if you collect different fossils. Ah, so, okay. So somebody's here that can revive Pokemon for us on that. Maybe that's that other way that I didn't take. You guys look weird. It's a cracked pot, I guess. To make a certain species of Pokemon. Oh, okay, so if I get that, um, that teapot Pokemon. I can evolve them with that. Okay, so if I get Pearl String, I can sell that to him. And I saw a hop up there, so before I get to him, I just want to go in here and see what's, what's going on. Oh, they're just cooking. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Ready to battle, bro? I'm still not too sure what I should do about all that stuff I told you before, about me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all. But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So we're gonna try all, out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. <laughs> You're on, dude. Then let's do this. I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help me get my head on straight. Yeah, I don't know why you let, uh, Bead get to you, bro. Been waiting for this battle. Cramorant. Oh. You got, a, you got a new Pokemon on your team. And it's water flying. Well, let me put in talk to Tristity. This would have been a perfect time to have protect. <laughs> oh, and it got a fish. <laughs> yep, and you're out of here. <laughs> oh, that's the whole thing. To get that fish and then when you hit it, it'll throw that fish at you to deal damage, so it's like a two-in-one. Oh man, maybe I should have leveled up Magikarp to 20, because he might get over-leveled now. At least that's what I'm thinking. I think it's more so because I wanted to learn Bite with Magikarp at level 20. Silicobra, that's a ground type. Um, yeah, we'll just send Rillaboom out there. I don't know why Rillaboom low-key is giving me Broly vibes. surprised that he has a toxin. I 
I wonder if he's gonna get the hyped up one though. So that kind of works out. But I have the um, I have the the laid back one, and he can get like the hyper adamant one. This battle was actually pretty nice and fun. It was good to see that he had different Pokemon. I don't know what I can do to try to win now, but nope, I rolled it too slow. Yeah, you're gone, buddy. strategy goes right to the pot when I've got all these bad thoughts running through my head. Yep, and we got 5k from that. Let's go, Magikarp. You already know who you turn it into. It sure did. Oh, you learn Waterfall. Oh, and you learn... Okay, so it doesn't even matter. It's just when you evolve. Clutch. Hmm. I tried switching my team members in and out to max out their potential in every matchup. We just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. But Lee really is the greatest trainer, and I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I've got to try harder and harder and harder till no one's laughing. I'm off mate, off to five, and the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. Okay, that's the hop we know. That child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. Now, on you go, child. You're headed to Stow on Side Gym next. No, the gym challenge is about having fun. Okay, Granny. Mysteriously popping up out of nowhere. Ooh, actually, I'm going to end this episode off right here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, next episode, I'm actually going inside for the gym challenge if we can attempt it. But till then, leave a like for the video if you liked the video, and also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. And with that said, stay sharp. Later.